Right before I drive away to forget Why do I give a damn at everything we say? Queenslanders are being warned over knife crime following the death of a 21-year-old Gold Coast man this week. Police have charged 23-year-old Hayden Rawson with murder, accusing him of fatally stabbing Will Swinbourne during a drug deal gone wrong. It's very concerning behaviour. Uh, I think anyone who takes a knife anywhere is asking for trouble. You know, we ask people to leave their knives at home. They don't need them. You know, society is not that dangerous that you need a, a knife to protect yourself. For more, let's bring in former Queensland Police Superintendent Jim Keogh. Good to talk again, Jim. Well, knife crime has been on the rise in Queensland. We know that. Why is it so difficult to prevent? Look, knife crime certainly has been on the rise, and not just crime uh, related to knives, but serious crime insofar as homicides. We had the elderly lady there at Red Bank Plains who lost her life courtesy of a knife, the stabbing recently uh, near Pacific Fair Shopping Centre, and as of Monday, the 21-year-old sadly murdered in the car park of a shopping centre here on the Gold Coast. So it is very hard to police. There are commonly used and shared commodity, the knives. The laws simply indicate you can't be out in public with a knife without mm. just cause or reasonable cause. But it's hard to police because they're concealed. So it's a very, very hard situation to get on top of. Yes, we have wanding in relation to entertainment precincts, but by and large, the knives now have become the preferred weapon. Yeah, so banning sale of knives to minors, we know that new laws were introduced. Uh, the stop and search, as you touched on there, but just saying, leave your knives at home, does more need to be done? Well, certainly, you know, you, you, you've legislated against knives being purchased by juveniles, but lo and behold, we go to the kitchen, we go to the cupboard, and there's many of knives there. So I don't think that's going to be very effectual at all. The reality is, and I think we're just faced with the fact that people are going to carry knives, it has become the preferred weapon. Combine that with motive and drug abuse, and this is taken as a means of protection and attack. I think the only solution here, sadly, is community beware. Mm. If you're going to get involved in an incident, if you're going to make a citizen's arrest, or if you are involved in an incident, be aware that they may produce from their back pocket a knife and the consequences could be fatal. All I can suggest here is don't rush in. Keep your distance and always have that in the back of your mind. Is this person armed with a knife that I can't see? Mm. Well, there you go. It, it is un-Australian, though, isn't it? We want to be involved. We want to help out if we can. But uh, great advice. Jim Key, I appreciate the time. G'day, guys. Cars Chronicles. All right, so we're back with another business. So, obviously, I'm going to be talking about stabbing and um, the knife crime that is going on, not just in Queensland. It's all around the country right now. And... Um, it is out of control, and I think if anyone can talk about it, I can talk about it. I have been on the end of a knife. A knife or some kind of instrument has entered my body seven times. So, um, you know, and it's just, it's so crazy. There's not many people that you will ever meet in your life that have been stabbed as many times as I have that can sit here and tell you about it that are still alive. I literally tried looking up them statistics. I could not find them, but I am pretty hopeless on Google. If anyone can find that on Google, can you please chuck it in the comments? That would be absolutely fantabulistic. And um, yeah, this stabbing is out of control. And so I've got some stats here and um, I, 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 wanna, I wanna read these stats out for you because it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. So, there's been a 32% rise in knife-related deaths in the last 12 months. Um, Australia is ranked number 125 in the world for stabbing. Now, there are lots, lots and lots of countries in this world, I don't know, but a lot more than 100 and bloody 25, I can tell you that right now. And that's pretty up there considering all them third world countries, are, if you have a look, they're right up there and like, you know, it's a, that's out of control. And uh, we are 
72, 74th in the world for murder itself. So not just knife related murders, but murder itself. We are 74th in the world. Like that blows my mind that we're not a third world country. We're not a country where this is, this is Australia and it's getting absolutely out of control like a third world country. And it really is. And so there are um, 377 deaths um, last last year, 377 deaths, and 250 of them. So 377 was the total, and 250 of them were... Uh, with sharp items, knife-related, you know, instruments like a not like a blade or something like that. Um, like that kind of shit blows my mind. And you know, like in the video, people are losing their lives, and and it absolutely just blows my mind that you know. Excuse me. These young kids, they go out, and here's the thing, right? This is the app. I've spoke about this before, and also, I will join a video to this at the end. My video, I do have a video explaining all my stab wounds and that, and showing. So, get into that and have a look. Um, but I now I can't remember what I was going to say. Um, but um, what was I going to say? Anyway, um, no, I need to know what I was going to say. So, guys, also, I need to say, when I do videos and I say, um, and this a lot, and it looks sound, looks like, and absolutely looks like now, when I forget things, then, um, you know, it's because of my MS, I have a really bad, um, it's called demyelination and I'm, and mine all is around my cerebellum, which is where your memory is. And, you know, I've got a bad memory, so we've got to just kick along with it. And now I've remembered what I was talking about before. So I was talking about, so here it is, right? These young people think, and I don't blame you young guys for doing this because it's a rough world out there. And every second bloke or every second kid is literally carrying a knife or some kind of instruments. You know, kids are getting pulled over with Rambo knives and machetes and shit like it's bonkers. But anyway, here's the truth. So this kid's sitting at home because something may have happened at school or something may have happened at the skate park, you know, at a party, whatever. Someone's might have, you know... Uh, touched him up or, or, you know, said that they were going to get him or, or touched him up or whatever. So, and maybe one or two of them had knives and, and it's pretty scary. And so like, here's this kid sitting in his bedroom before he goes to school thinking, now I don't want to get knives pulled on me. I don't definitely don't want to get stabbed. So, um, I'm going to take this knife with me and it's going to protect me. And if anyone goes to attack me again well i'm gonna have this knife on me and it's gonna protect me so here's the absolute truth it is not going to protect you so the the fact of it is and it's a fact trust me i've been in these situations and if you are the person like let's say for instance if a group of eight blokes come up to you and and you feel threatened and you pull your knife out and even though those blokes were going to probably attack you anyway but when you pull that knife out, that that then makes a threat to them, right? So every single one of them that is carrying a weapon is going to produce that. And if you're coming at them, they're going to come at you. So nine times out of ten, I don't know if it's nine times out of ten, but a lot of the time, you know, these knife attacks could be stopped if the kids just didn't take a knife to the party because... A lot of the times it's these kids that are producing these knives or weapons in self-defense and I don't blame them, don't get me wrong, but I promise you that is only going to accelerate whatever situation you're in. And especially, especially like, you know, if, if you start pulling a knife out and there's that many people there, like you're just going to be swinging like crazy 
you're going to get stabbed like crazy. Someone else is going to get stabbed like crazy. Because here's the thing. When everybody's got a knife in their hand, they all of a sudden think they're a spider monkey or, I don't know, Mr. Scribble. And next thing you know, they're swinging hands around everywhere. And and this is how people die because they've got the knife in their hand. And I need to stress to you guys that bringing a knife to the party is only going to make the situation worse. And trust me, I've been somebody who's been on the end of an instrument seven different times it has entered my body you know and that didn't all happen on one occasion it explains it in the video i will attach it to the end of this video but yeah guys it's it's absolutely crazy and out of control and i know i don't get millions of views and i don't have but i do have people that that have seen that what i'm saying is is true you know and and people are listening and slowly i'm getting more and more of a a, a family i'll call it because you know i try to try to you know reply to all comments and stuff like that so we're getting a bit of a good family little rapport going with everyone which reminds me if you guys want to know anything about prison anything like that smash it down there in a comment and I will get back to, I'll try and answer that video, that comment with a video. Um, which reminds me, if anyone isn't already subscribed to me, jump up there, grab that subscribe button, smash that bell. That way you will never miss any of my videos. And I've got plenty, plenty of videos there and I've got plenty of videos to come. And um, yeah, 100% guys, um, you know, this isn't a prison video, so I'm not going to say don't do this and you won't end up in prison. Don't bring a knife to the party because nine times out of ten, I, I'm saying it again because I really believe it is, you know, that if these, you know, kids didn't produce knives in self-defense that, you know, they would maybe, you know, things wouldn't happen. I'm not going to say that kids would still be alive now because I don't know that, but I definitely know that bringing a knife to the party might not make you come home from the party and that's a, that's a fact, you know. All right, guys, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. We out.